Well, before we do add and subtract mixed numbers, let's take you back on memory lane and do an easy example. If I have 5 sevens minus 2 sevens, this is section 2 3 in the book. 5 7 minus 2 7. Now, these are not mixed numbers, but I figure we'll start with that. Notice the key to adding and subtracting is to make sure the bottom number is the same. The denominator has to be the same. It is the same in this case, so you leave it alone. 5 minus 2, which is what? 3 over 7. And if you can simplify your answer, go ahead and simplify it. We can simplify here. Also, if you want to add... Four nine plus five six. Now notice the two numbers on the bottoms are different. We need to find what? Common denominator. Anyone knows what the common denominator is? For nine and six? No, common denominator. 18. 18. Both these numbers divisible by 18. Correct. If you're not sure how, break the 9 to what? 3 times 3. Both of these are prime numbers. That's 3 squared. The 6 is what? 2 times 3. Both of these are prime numbers. The LCD or LCM here, we'll call it LCD because they are denominators is the multiplication of all the different factors. I see 2 and 3 and 3. So it's the multiplication of all the factors, each raised to its highest power. And the highest power of 2, I mean the highest power of 3 is 2. We don't add them, we look at each box individually. That's 2 times 9, which is what? 18. So my LCD is 18. So what I'm going to do now, somehow I need to make sure the bottom number is 18 for both of these. I will have to multiply the 9 by what to make it 18? 2. 2, Two times 4? 8. I will have to multiply the 6 by what to make it 18? 3. 5 times 3? 15. Now notice both of these numbers are the same. We make it one fraction. 8 plus 15, which is what? 23. Now they might not like the answer looking like this. Maybe they want it as a mixed number. We go 23 divided by 18. 1, 1 times 18 is 18. What's the remainder? 5. So it's 1 and 5 over 18. So we did not add or subtract mixed numbers yet. This is just taking you back to adding and subtracting fractions, not mixed numbers. Now we're going to try the mixed numbers. So how do we do mixed numbers? Let's try this one. 2 and 1 third plus 3 and 1 half. There are a couple of ways of doing them. Some people will say, you know what, chicks, just take the 2 and 1 third, write it down, and write the 3 and 1 half under it. And add these two numbers, get an answer to that. And add these two numbers, get an answer to that. And that'll be your answer. 2 and 3 is what? 5. What's 1 third plus 1 half? 
Well, you've got to find the common denominator, which is what? Six. So you've got to multiply this by two to make it six. That's two over six. I've got to multiply the two by three to make it six. Two plus three, which is what? Five over six. So when you add these two pieces, the answer is what? Five over six. And when you add these two, the answer is what? Five. Where this gets a little bit messy, when this number is more than one, you have to change it to a mixed number, take that whole number, add it to this. And when it's subtractions, if this is bigger than that, you have to borrow one. So I'm not a fan of doing them this way. I like the other method. So this is one way of doing them. I'm going to show you a different method, which I like it because it works for addition, subtraction, multiplication, divisions. It works all the time. Same problem. Instead of adding the whole numbers first and add the fraction second, I'm going to change both of these to improper fraction. How do we change these to improper fraction? 3 times 2 plus 1. This is 7 over 3. 2 times 3. 6 plus 1. 7 over 2. Now you want to add them. Just like before, notice the two numbers on the bottoms are different. The LCD is what? 6. <coughs> To change the 3 to 6, you need to multiply it by 2. 2 times 7, 14. To change the 2 to 6, I need to multiply it by what? 3. 3 times 7, 21. What's 21 plus 14? 35 over 6. Now let's change that to a mixed number because if they give you two mixed numbers, they want the answer as a mixed number. So 35 divided by 6, 5. 5 times 6 is what? 30. So there's the 5. What's the remainder? So it's 5 over what? 6. Was that the same answer? 5 and 5 over 6. This method, I know it looks like more steps, because I made this not bad. But I'm telling you, this is actually a lot easier to deal with than the other method. Especially when you're subtracting, and this number is bigger than this, and you don't know it till down the road. Oh, that's negative. i got to go back, borrow one. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to practice some of these uh, addition subtractions using this method. four and one eighth. I want to add to it three and one half. Change them to improper fraction. Eight times four. Thirty-two and one. 33 over 8. 2 times 3, 6 and 1, 7 over 2. 2. is the least common denominator of 8 and 2? Well, you can use 16, but 8 will be smaller. Notice both of these numbers, you can divide them by 8. So 16 will do it, then you're just going to simplify your answer. 8 will be a better choice. So since this one is already 8 in the bottom, I don't have to change the bottom, which means what? Don't change the top. If you're not changing the bottom, then you're not changing the top. This one, you've got to multiply it by what? 4 to make it 8. 
Seven times four? 28. 28 and 33, is that 61? And let's go to the side and change it to a mixed number. 61 divided by eight? Seven? Seven times eight is what, 56? The remainder is what, five? So seven and five over eight. Let's try another one. This is where this method becomes nice, actually. If I said to you 4 and 1 fourth minus 2 and 3 fourths. Four times four. And one. Four times two. Eight and three. Oh. Now the bottom is the same. I'm lucky here. Leave it alone. 17 minus 11 is what? Six. And if you want to simplify it, notice that's a fraction. If you simplify it, that's 3 over what? 2. Still improper fraction. So what is 3 divided by 2? 1. 1 times 2 is 2. The remainder is 1. So it's 1 and 1 half. If you try to do it the other way, line them up on top of each other, one-fourth minus three-fourth, we have a problem. This number is bigger than this. So you have to come back and borrow one from this and deal with that. This method says you don't have to worry about it. It takes care of all these steps in between. Let me try one more. Nine minus... 7 and 5 over 7. Notice that number is not a mixed number. So what are we going to do? Well, any number is over what? Over 1. Minus... 7 times 7, 49 plus 5, 54. So what's the LCD? What's the least common denominator that you can divide it by 1 by 7? 7, yep. I heard somebody say 7. You can make the bottom 7 for both. Since no change in the bottom here, that means no change on the top. But this one, I will have to multiply it by 7 to change the 1 to 7. 9 times 7, which is what? 63. 63 minus 54. Is that uh, 9? Nine over seven. One. One times seven is seven. The remainder is two. One and two sevenths. Beautiful way of doing mixed numbers. Change them to improper fraction and continue with that. <laughs>